that are caught seeding in those school zones. But that is if a piece of legislation does become law. CBS 17's Crystal Price is live tonight at Hillside High School. And Crystal, I understand they've had some issues with people speeding through that school zone where you are. Yes, that school is right here on Fayetteville Street, which is a very busy street, especially in the afternoons when school gets out. Now, if this bill passes, they could put that speed measuring system here and speeders would get a $250 ticket. There were a lot of speeding or was a lot of speeding going on. Jeremiah Henderson is a graduate of the Durham School of the Arts. And one thing he remembers is how fast drivers would go through the school zone. One day he was even hit by a car while riding his bike outside of the school. I hit like the back of my bike tire and I like flew off. I didn't break anything, you know, I wasn't bleeding or anything like that. You know, I was lucky. A lot of people aren't necessarily as lucky. So we've had excessive speeding in school zones. State Representative Zach Hawkins is co-sponsoring a bill that would allow the city of Durham to install electronic speed measuring systems to detect speeders in school zones. The city would install automated cameras that would take digital photos of cars going at least three to five miles an hour over the speed limit. This means if the speed limit is 25 miles per hour and you go 28 miles per hour in a school zone, you could get a $250 ticket. There will be signs and notices a thousand feet of the device. The fine will be a non-criminal violation, which means no points would be added to your license. But attorney Daniel Meyer says these tickets won't be easy to fight. The only two ways out of it are to do an affidavit saying you weren't the driver, this person was, or to show that your car was stolen. For the most part, it's going to boil down to if you want to avoid them, don't speed in school zones. Now, the cameras would be installed in just a few school zones to start with. Now, this bill did make it out of committee yesterday, but it still has a ways to go before it would become law. Reporting live in Durham, Crystal Price, CBS 17 News.